let's talk about theoretical probability. Uh, probability uh, in simple language is chance. Okay, so if someone, suppose if you say throw a coin, okay, if you throw a coin, if you throw a coin, there are two possible outcomes. Okay, when you throw a coin, there are two outcomes. One is whether either you get a head or a tail. So these are called outcomes. Okay, so this these are these are called outcomes. So this is an outcome or result, and this is also an outcome. So there are two possible outcomes when you toss or when you throw a coin. Okay. So this is how you write the probability of getting a head. H for head is 50%, but in probability we generally write as a fraction. So this is one half or 50%. If it's a unbiased coin, uh, there is equal chance of getting a head or a tail. The probability of getting a tail would be again half, which is also 50%. Okay, now what happens if you have say two coins? If you have say, if you throw two coins, one after the other or together, <clears throat> suppose you've got two coins and you throw the coins together or if you throw one coin twice, they both mean you'll have to, uh, how many outcomes? So let us talk about outcomes. Two coins are thrown together or one coin thrown twice will result in four outcomes. Okay, so which are the outcomes? So you get head and head. Both are head. One is head or tail. Or you can get tail or head and both tails. Okay, so you got basically three types of outcomes. So this is say are two heads, both heads or two heads. This is in terms of head, I'm talking in terms of head. So this you can describe as one head. So you can get one head in two ways. You get head first and then tail, or you get tail first and then head, whichever way. And that this is no head, okay, or zero heads. This you can describe at zero head. So what is the probability? of getting two heads. So let us think about what is the probability of getting two heads? What is the probability of getting a tail or a head? Okay, so let me write like this, head and a tail. So like head, head and a tail, head and tail in any order doesn't matter because they would constitute the same and What's the probability of getting both tails? Now to find these probabilities, <coughs> we can draw a, prob uh, <coughs> a tree diagram. So this is how we draw a tree diagram. So let me draw a line like this. So the f this is called the first, so let us think we have got only one coin. So this is the first throw, or this is the first coin. You can either call this the first coin or the first throw. So if suppose you have two coins, the first coin and the second coin. Okay, so what is the probability of getting when you throw the first coin? So let us imagine we are throwing the coins one after the other. What's the probability of getting a head or a tail? Well, you write the probability, these are the branches. This is let me write, this is called a tree diagram. This is called a tree diagram. Okay. So what is the probability of getting a head? Well, that is half. What is the probability of getting a tail? That's also half. Okay. So once you, co once you throw the first coin, this you can also call the first outcome. You can draw the second branch. So let me draw the second branch like this. So from this you can get two branches again. So again you can get head or tail or head or tail. So this is for the, so this is one branch. So this is 
once you get head in the first coin, what is the probability of getting head in the second coin? Well, the probability doesn't change. That's again half. And the probability of getting tail is again half. So this is for this branch, you are thinking like this. Once you get tail in the first coin or in the first outcome, what's the probability of getting a head? That's again half. And what's the probability of getting a tail? That's again a half. So let's write the outcome here. Okay, so let's write the outcome. Outcome. Okay, and the probability. We'll write the probability here. So the outcome here. So there are four possible outcomes. You get a head and a head. Okay, you get head and head. That's one outcome. What's the probability of getting a head and a tail? So that is H. That means you're getting head in the first coin and tail in the second coin. Or you can think also like this. You got head as the first outcome and tail as the second outcome. And this is, you get first tail and then head first tail and then head or you can get both tails okay now to get to get both heads I hope you understand the probability is a quarter now how did you get a quarter so that is one half times one half one half times one half which is one quarter so there are four outcomes basically there are four outcomes so Logically, also, you can understand the probability of getting a head and head is one quarter. And the probability of getting a tail and a tail is, again, one half times one half. So let me scroll this to this side. So one half times one half, which is one quarter. Okay. And the probability of getting head and a tail is, again, the same, which is half times half. So basically, what you do is you multiply the probability on the branches. So you... If this outcome, you follow the follow the branch backwards or this way. So this is probability of getting a head is half. Probability of, probability of getting a tail is half. So if you follow the branches and you multiply the probabilities, so that is a quarter, and this is also a quarter. One half times one half, which is one quarter. Okay. So now let's answer this question. So probability of getting a head and a head is a quarter. Probability of getting a head and a tail or tail and a head doesn't matter is quarter plus quarter. This would be quarter plus quarter because you're going to get this in two possible ways. You can get a head or a tail or a tail, a tail or a head. And a quarter and a quarter is two quarters and two quarters is one half. Okay, and this probability of getting both tails is a one quarter. So in terms of percentage, we can say this, the probability of getting both head is 25%. The probability of getting both tails is also 25%. But the probability of getting head and a tail or tail and a head is 50%. You can do this an experiment. And as you do more number of experiment, your experimental probability will almost be equal to your theoretical probability. So theoretically, it means that if you, uh, if you, if you do this experiment, the probability is a, of head and head is 25%, uh, tail and head or head and tail is 50%, and tail and tail is 25%. This doesn't mean that if you do this experiment for 10 times, you will get this probability. So if you do this for, say, so 10 times, this may not be exactly the case. But as you keep doing this experiment for more number of times or for thousands of times, you will uh, get these probabilities in, in your experimental probability.